Surface Pro and the Surface RT. This is Adam Lane from Pocketnow.com and in this video we're going to do a quick comparison between Microsoft's two new tablet PCs. So while I've got these here, uh, let's talk about the weight a little bit. This is the Surface Pro is 2 pounds, the Surface RT is 1.5 pounds. These are not heavy at all. Holding both of them together is lighter than uh, my last tablet, which was 4.7 pounds. Alright, let's see how quickly these turn on. Boot up time is pretty important for a tablet. You want it to be ready right away. This is the Surface Pro and that's the Surface RT. And you see the Pro is already done. And we're in. Still waiting for the RT, which stands for real time but we're already totally running the Pro. There we go. And we see how slow login happens over there as well. But now we're both going. And let's see uh, sleep mode. Let's see how quickly that happens. Instant sleep mode and back. RT, much quicker, resuming from sleep mode. Next, let's do a shutdown, just to see how quickly that happens. There we go, shutting down, oh, the Pro is already off. Okay. So here we are with the Peacekeeper browser test results. You see the Pro gets a much higher score, and there's the RT with a much lesser score. So let's try a different web page, and let's see if we can get it to go at the same time. There, they're both loading pocket now, and the Pro is done already. And let's load a video. Pro much faster. And here we go. Well, we're still waiting. Come on, RT, here we go. Both browsers work pretty nicely. I think the advantage goes to the Surface Pro. It's much faster loading pages. And of course you can install any kind of other web browser that you want on the Surface Pro because it's Windows 8. Let's try launching the news app. Surface Pro, much faster. And it's not even loading the today's, there we go. So that's today's news, and we're still on yesterday's news over there. There we go. Now they're both updated. All right. How about some weather? Again, Surface Pro, much faster. Of course, on the Surface Pro, I can install all sorts of real Windows programs. So there's, you know, like 4 million regular Windows programs that I can install uh, separately with about 40-something thousand Windows 8 apps in the store. Those are the ones that the RT can run as well as the Pro. So for desktop-style apps, we really only have these four on the RT. Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and OneNote. And this is how quickly they launch. Whereas over here, you get them much, much quicker. Let's see Word. Here's Word. Much faster on the Pro. Now both of these have games, so I'm going to launch Hydro Thunder. 
and we see the pro is uh, in the lead a bit. This is a pretty intensive graphic. Uh, Windows 8 game. Let's get to now we're gonna try to play this at the same time. I don't know how well we're gonna do this. very difficult to see both at the same time. Alright, you get the idea. So in terms of hardware, from the front, both of these look very, very similar. However, the Pro has your stylus on the side. There's your micro SD slot on the edge. It kind of, you gotta use your fingernail to kind of pit, click it in. There's your charging port, mini display port, power button. And over here is the volume control, USB port, and headset jack. Whereas the RT, there's your power connector, USB port, and mini HD all on this side. Power. And over here is the volume control and headset jack. The micro SD card slot is hidden under the kickstand, right down there, instead of being a slot on the side. And you see this is a bit thinner. There's also a plastic up here with the camera, whereas the Pro, so when it comes to battery life, the Pro, um, usually around five hours, depending on what you're doing. If you put it to sleep mode a lot, obviously you can get a much longer uh, lifespan out of it. The RT lasts for much longer, but obviously it's slower, less capable, not as many programs. So if battery life is important to you, that's the uh, thing that the RT has going for it. The Pro on the other hand is extremely powerful and obviously the battery is gonna suffer for that. One more thing to look at is the charging cables. This one is for the Pro, you see Pro Windows 8 written there, and you see Windows RT written over here. This one is much smaller and lighter. Both have the same connector, so you could use either one. But the Pro has more power and faster charging. So I can recharge this in like two and a half hours, maybe, pretty quick. So during lunch, recharge, no problem. This has a uh, longer cable here, so you can easily plug this into a power strip with you know, lots of other stuff plugged in, whereas this is more of a larger brick. Might have uh, some trouble with room, but it folds up really nicely. The other thing is that this one includes a USB port. So having that extra USB charging port built in really, you know, cuts down on the amount of chargers that you have to carry. It's really nice. So there you have it, Surface Pro, one of the fastest, most powerful uh, tablets out there, largest app ecosystem, and uh, the Surface RT. Good battery life, I guess. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and that's it for now.